We have an interesting problem on the board. We have three to the two to the 27 to the X minus 6561 equals zero. To start with, I want this 6561 on the other side. So let's just rewrite this. Three to the two to the 27 to the X equals 6561. And like a lot of these problems, the, the real key is the prime factorization. We want to, what is this big number? And the first clue is the left side's got a base of three. So what we'd like is for that right side to have a base to be three. And it's actually, if we did the prime factorization, this is actually three to the eighth. But now if we're saying this left expression is equal to three to the eighth, they have the same base. So then we can just equate the exponent. So we're saying then the exponent on the left is just this part. And we're just gonna equate those and say two to the 27 to the x equals eight. Then we can actually do the same trick again. So we just, the prime factorization of eight is just two cubed. And so again, we have the same base, right? We have two and two, so we can compare exponents again. So now we're comparing 27 to the x versus three. Now we can't quite do the same thing because the prime factorization of three is just three of us, three is a prime but we can actually rewrite the left side, we can write 27 as three cubed. But then next we could just multiply this x inside the parentheses and we have three to the three x equals three and I'll just write the exponent here as one. So again, we have the same base comparing exponents. We're saying three x equals one. Just divide both sides by three and we end up with x equals one third. That's it, pretty quick problem.